What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. I got a special one for you guys today. Sit back, relax. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today we're talking about PC peripherals. Now for me, it all started here. This was the first gaming mouse and keyboard that really woke me up to PC gaming. We have the Razer Death Adder gaming mouse and we have the Razer Sonosa Pro gaming keyboard. Yeah, today we're gonna be looking at something new and I hope you're ready for it, cause I am. Like, this is where I currently am today. I have been the a long Utech time. Smart Venus Pro MOBA mouse, my 12 button mouse, one of my favorite mice that I've ever used. And I have the Magigi Star 61. And today we're going to be making a very special update. Today we are going to be looking at this. Now this was sent to me by the awesome folks over at reddragonshop.com. Now the video is not sponsored. They did send me this keyboard for free. I am going to do an unboxing and review it. And all thoughts and opinions shared in this video are my own uh, Red Dragon. Here we are. So the amazing folks over at Red Dragon Shop has sent me the Red Dragon K16 mechanical keyboard. RGB, it is wired, it's transparent switches, and the color of the keyboard itself is transparent white. Let's dive into this thing. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let us get this box open. All right, so I'm just going to give a quick slit right there and let us open this guy up. Here we go. Okay, that looks very nice. I'm just going to gently lift this out. This is, wow, it's transparent. Let's see here. Okay, there's a bit of weight to it. I like that, but let's go ahead and open up this part here, see what else we have. Now we do have, what is this? I gotta open this part up here because I'm not sure what this is. So let's open this up. Okay, so we do have some extra switches. So these are Red Dragon's crystal switches, very transparent. Let's put it up to the mic, let's get a sound test. Now, I don't know if the mic picked that up. I hope it did. We do have the two pins, as you can see here, two pin switches, and it sounds very nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's continue on and see what else we have in the box here. We do have a nice looking switch puller and keycap puller. If I can get the bag open. There we go. So we have a red keycap puller and we have a shiny switch puller. All right. So very good to see. And I believe the last thing should be the USB cable. Okay. USB C to USB A cable. Looks like we got some nice Red Dragon branding here. Here we can see there we have the Red Dragon branding. And I like that we have the USB-C part of the cable is in the L shape. So it's kind of leans off to the side. Very nice touch, very premium quality cable. I really like that. And that's all that comes in the... Now onto the piece de resistance. Let's take this bad boy out. Oh my goodness. I'm actually beaming back here <laughs> because this thing looks so amazing. Uh, we do get something in here. We get, uh, this looks like some stickers. Okay, love to see it. We do have some Red Dragon stickers here. We got ready for battle and we got Red Dragon, you know, I call these troll stickers. You just stick them on the back of something, you know, let everybody know that you rock with Red Dragon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we have the 
the uh, operations instruction, the startup guide, the manual, whatever you want to call it. This is beautiful. Look at this fully transparent. Oh my goodness. We have some Red Dragon branding right here on the sides, nice and clear on the back, nice and clear. I love the transparent design. It's so good. And on the other side, we have that USB-C port right there. As you can see on the back, we have some stoppers. Okay. So your keyboard is not going anywhere. It's not going to be just sliding around. And we also have two extending feet here. So if you need to get some height angle adjustment, you can do so. Nice. Very nice. I personally like the keyboard to be flat. It's not heavy by any means. It's really cool though. The transparent design, I can't get over it. You can clearly see the PCB through it. The clear, the, uh, clear design. Uh, very, very nice. Very nice. It just looks so beautiful. I can't wait to get some RGB in this bad boy. It looks so good. I like the lettering and the design on the keyboard as well. You can see on the escape key, we got the little uh, red dragon sign right here, the emblem. Let's try to get a closer look there. It's really cool. The design, the space bar ready for battle. That's pretty cool. I like that. I actually like the transparent design. I'll be honest with you. It's so clean. I like that very much. And it's very compact, feels very good in the hand. Very awesome. All right. Now I'm going to put the mic to it and let's get a sound test. Let's go ahead and take off one of these keycaps. Here we go. Very simple to take off. And yeah, just transparent. No coating on the inside, of course, because it is transparent, but pretty awesome. You can definitely switch out. And we have Red Dragon's custom switch inside. Let's go ahead and take out a switch and have a, another close look at it just to make sure the board is hot swappable. Very easy to come out, very awesome. There is their customized crystal switch. And we do have, this looks like north facing LEDs. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And of course it is hot swappable. So you don't like the keycaps, you don't like the switches, you're free to switch them out. Now let's dive in and turn on this bad boy right now. Let's get these switches back in. Let's get the keycap back on. Let's give this thing some power and let's see what it can do. Wow. This thing, <laughs> this is beautiful. That transparent keycaps is ridiculous. Wow. That's awesome. All right, let's get this set up and let's see what we can do with it. So the color settings, if we hold FN and R, it's going to switch some of the actions, right? And then we have FN and M, which deals with the brightness. Uh, the control was blinking. I don't know why it was doing that, but this is supposed to be the brightness. Yep, as you can see, so if you don't want it too bright, this is the lowest. But for the speed, it's the comma button. So we can make it go fast or slower. All right, so let's give this a keyboard a shot in some Valorant. You know that we gotta jump into some spike rush and let's dive in. There is something about the keycaps using it. It just feels, I don't know what it is. My fingers, they feel like they're slipping, but they feel like they're gripping at the same time. It's just a weird feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's slipping, like my fingers are easy to move, right? 
but they're also very stable at the same time. Very strange feeling, to be honest with you. So as you see here, very responsive. As soon as I tap, breaking them. Woo! Okay, and he's planting on A. Okay, so I got my kill. Nice. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Standing ahead. Nobody's there. Oh, okay. Making cover. Oh. Not ready yet. Take flight. Let's go. Oh All right. Caution here. Die. Last player standing. No. Thirty seconds left. One enemy Quiet remaining. Now. Standing ahead. Sixteen seconds. I made it. Spike planted. Woo! Let's go! Caution here. Caution here. Here they come. Don't check. He didn't check. Uh oh. Where? Main. Revealing area. There they are. One enemy remaining. Nope. Be still. No, let's go. Hey, I gotta give it up to the keyboard, man. I don't know what it's doing or why it's making me so good, but uh, seven nil. Not ready yet. Get out of here. No. Hey, Amen. Yes. Spike planted. Let's go. Let's go. He didn't have to curse there though, but let's go. <laughs> no way. GG, well played. GG. Well played. Let's go. 10 kills, 4 deaths, 0 assists. It was pretty close there. I'll be honest with you. That was pretty darn close. The last kill was also mine. I hope you guys saw it. Honestly, like I said, I don't know what it is, but this keyboard just does something. Again, I'm going to say it. It feels like it's slippery and sticky all at the same times. And I don't mean sticky like gross or slippery like wet. I mean, it's just like my, it, you know what? Almost like a, like a grippy glide. Let's call it that. This is definitely the GG keyboard. It is the grippy glide keyboard. Your fingers are gliding with a certain amount of grip to it. This is the GG keyboard. Oh, this keyboard, the K686, where is that? I'm definitely buying that keyboard, this one. I'm definitely buying this. I'm a big anime fan. This looks amazing. I love the color scheme of this thing. And I've never had a keyboard with a knob. Red Dragon, let me know. But <laughs> I'm definitely very interested in the K686 Pro. I'm very interested in this keyboard right here. Um, very awesome. Okay, and now let's go over to software again i've already downloaded this but if you have a red dragon device go over to software come down here where you see you have the little section here for mice keyboards combos headsets or accessories here we have the option for three profiles a macro editor i don't use macros i've never looked into it so that's not really my forte if you know about macros then you're right at home with that 
we have the lighting here so we are able to see our key so that was an accident but clicking on a key you can assign a key to a specific function we do have the macros here and media uh, we turn back on the lights because it's an rgb keyboard it's all about the lights uh, we can also cycle through the different modes so it's on fixed on right now as you see on the keyboard it's fixed on then we have uh what is that respire self define so this is pretty cool as you see here just the wasd the wasda is highlighted um let's see oh and now the space bar is highlighted as well very cool just by tapping on the different keys so let's see if i wanted to change the color i'm going to click blue and then let's go with spacebar escape uh enter shift control that's pretty cool so you can have it so only those keys so only those keys will be lit up okay that's so that's gonna wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video um again like i said i definitely recommend this keyboard it is once again the red dragon fizz k617 the k617 rgb transparent wired it is wired mechanical gaming keyboard and this keyboard is off the chain all right i'm calling it personally i'm personally i'm calling this the gg keyboard right because it has something about it where it is grippy and glidy at the same time i know that might sound crazy or weird but that's how i describe it um relatively affordable like i said it's around 80 bucks canadian this is this is something that if you want to get into mechanical keyboards and gaming and stuff like that and you love rgb with that transparent look this is definitely the one for you it's very awesome their crystal switches are not too clacky not too clicky not too loud but it definitely does feel satisfying and smooth i assume that i assume that they're pre lubed switches and even the stabilizers as well i didn't get into much of the technicality when it comes to these switches we do know that it is a hot swappable board and we have north facing leds as well very awesome we ran through the software and yeah i definitely recommend this keyboard of course a disclaimer like i said red dragon did send this keyboard out to me but all the thoughts and opinions are my own red dragon had no control or input in this review and uh yeah as always thank you guys for tuning in to this video drop a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to help support the channel click that first link in the description that is my affiliate link with red dragon get 15 percent discount over there on red dragon shop and let them know picasso sent you and as always again i'm picasso thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace i'm out